Good morning, lovelies. Happy first day of autumn. I'm so happy you're here. I have a cool, magical, witchy trick for you. And you don't have to be an expert witch to do this. It is a spray that I use to create this kind of Jack Frost, frosty, wintry look on my windows. I cannot stand a glare from the windows. So this is my answer to that. So it's a product called Crystal Frost. And no, not sponsored clearly, but I've used this as a florist for many years. And I usually spray it on our front door because I just like the effect of, uh, to make it look more wintry. And it's also kind of a privacy thing because it blocks your windows a bit. You can also use, and I did this in combination with frosted glass. I showed this, uh, I didn't actually show the can, but I showed you in my first video of our home tour, how I spray clear glass to give it a frosted look. This is permanent and this is not. <laughs> this wipes off, so don't be worried. If you think it's going to stay on your windows, you can just clearly wipe it off. If you want it to be permanent, you can use the frosted glass and uh, it is um, a little difficult to get off, but it can it can come off, but it's a little difficult. So stick around, I'm gonna show you how I do this technique to get this fun, wintry, spooky look like that. Oh, and by the way, you're gonna want your kids to watch how you do this because it is really magical. So take a look at the video. So as you can see, it's pretty bright. There's a bit of a glare. I also don't wanna see the swimming pool, the pool supplies, every little thing that's out there. It's really distracting from my vision of having this kind of spooky thing going on here. So I take the crystal frost and all I do is you know, give it a good shake and then I come over to my windows, which I've previously cleaned. I do a light mist and spray. And at first, nothing's going to happen. It doesn't look like anything, actually. It just looks like you're getting your windows wet. And don't worry, it doesn't hurt the things I've sprayed there. You can see um, it's, oh, hello, jack-o'-lantern. It's a very light little spray. And all of this stuff is just Halloween decor. In the middle pane of the window, you can see it's a little more frosted. That's the frosted glass spray. I'm experimenting with some different looks here. You cannot spray the crystal over that and get the patterns to come out. It's just going to sit on top of it. So um, you'll see what I did with that window pane in just a bit. But I continue just to lightly mist and make sure that your windows are nice and clean and dry. Humidity does affect how this uh, stuff sets. And like I said, it's going to take a minute for anything to happen. And, and then just like magic, you're going to see these ice crystals form. And no, that is not a speeded up version of what's going on. It's actually doing that in real time. This is the part your kids are going to absolutely love when they see this. It's just so cool. And it just starts filling in. And all of a sudden, it, it's just a magical Jack Frost Winterland. That's the paint I previously painted. And I just wiped it down. And I actually liked the look. It kind of reminded me a bit of um, heavier condensation when you wipe your windows. You can see that again. It's really cool. It's just amazing how it uh, fills in and creates wow. these delicate little icy patterns. I sprayed the frosting spray on first and created like a circular pattern. You just kind of have to experiment with it and see what you want to do. The frosting spray does not create the ice crystals, just a general overall look of frost. It's a really great way though to um, experiment. And if you're not too fussy, really, it's just an easy, quick way to decorate for the holidays. Look how cool that is. It just creates crystals. I like this better than the flocking spray. It's less messy and it looks more realistic to me. So so I will show you the finished effect here, a little sneak peek preview of how I decorated our kitchen window. I really like how this gives you an atmospheric and spooky effect and it really helps pop the silhouette cats and also the silhouette metal haunted houses that I have. It's just a neat effect. And I really enjoy watching the kids' faces when those crystals appear magically. Oh. Okay, wasn't that just the coolest? 
<laughs> I love the effect that that gives. Um, a couple of tips, want to reiterate a few things. If you are going to use either one of these products, make sure your windows are clean and very dry. You might even want to do that part the day before and humidity is not their friend. So make sure that you're choosing a day that's pretty warm and dry outside and this product will work much more effectively. Like I said, the crystal, it, the crystal frost is very easy to, once, if it doesn't set, you can wipe it off. Another thing is if you notice it um, dripping or running or you get beads, just take a paper towel and just very lightly touch it so that you don't get drips and runs. You want to use like a nice light coat to get the best effect. Another thing about this frosted glass spray, you can actually uh, spray this either inside or outside. I think they recommend outside and definitely <laughs> It does smell like spray paint, so make sure you've got plenty of ventilation. You're going to um, be able to actually wipe this down and clean it after it's dried and cured, which is pretty amazing that you can even do that. It is a semi-transparent finish, and it's usually sold for, you can see on the, here, don't look at my nails. You can see here that um, it's sold to as a privacy sort of screen, if you will, on glass doors. Uh, I'm going to try to use the, or I am going to do the crystal frost uh, spray on my bathroom mirror and the little bathroom downstairs. I have kind of a cute sort of witchy sort of haunted feel going on in there, haunted forest feel going on in there. And I'm going to try to do an effect on my, my mirror in there. I'm going to show you how I do that. And also I will be having a new video coming up on the tour of our kitchen and our breakfast, or this is really our only dining area at the moment, and how I did all this. Now, if I had thought about it, because I usually only use this, these products on my front door, I would have sprayed the windows here first, because obviously when you're doing any kind of decorating, it's all layers, right? And you don't want to have to go back in and spray spray paint on, or not spray paint, but this product on your windows when you have everything else there. It's not ideal, obviously, but I'm a messy floral designer and artist, and I just kinda, I will do things like that sometimes. So it was just an afterthought to do it because the glare was so bright coming in from the outside. And I thought to myself, why didn't I do that here? So that's how, that's why you'll see me in the video. I already have some things here and I'm spraying, just to clarify. Okay, so your next question is probably going to be, well, where do I find these products? So Crystal Frost is made by Design Master and Design Master is a brand that is specifically sold to the floral trade. You can find sometimes at Michael's, they do have Design Master. It's kind of hit or miss on what products they carry. But I like the Design Master one the best. I know that there's one that I think you can find it like at Hobby Lobby, maybe also at uh, Michael's. It has a little Santa Claus on it. I don't know how that product works. Um, I may have tried it one time. I, I can't really recall. But also, this, um, if you are really nice and you ask your florist politely, they will probably order a can of it for you or pick some up the next time you go to, they go to the wholesaler because it's always usually at the wholesaler, especially this time of year. I would also ask for a can of Mess Master, Mess, M-E-S-S. -S. Mess Master is basically acetone in a spray can. It's about this size. It's also made by Design Master. It is a product that is used to remove spray paint from your hands, but you can also use it for effects. A lot of florists use different kinds of spray paints that are designed for flowers and for silk flowers. and wood and glass and terracotta and that's um a, the design master has a range of products that you can use if you're a crafter um check with your florist support your florist your local florist they have a lot of uh, access to these kinds of products and that's where you should be able to find it you can find some of this stuff online but like i said um, your florist is probably your best bet so visit your local florist today anyway i hope you're having a wonderful beautiful, happy first day of autumn and happy Maybon to you. Please come back and join me again. Our next episode should be a lot of fun. Bye.